So, hi, uh, Jag here, video two. Um, in this video, I would like to talk about uh, targeted release versus standard release. Should you be um, turning on the targeted release, Office 365 release in your tenant, or uh, just stay with the standard release? So Microsoft's recommendation is to uh, have few people on um, on the targeted release so that they could actually test out the, the newly coming features. Uh, this users could be your system administrators or change management teams or you know your trainers and so on. Um, but I actually uh, would recommend the other way. Uh, I, I would say not to use uh, targeted release in your tenant and rather stay on standard, re uh, standard release for everybody. The reason being is um, if you have some people on targeted release versus uh, some, uh, you know, the remaining people on standard release, there would be a slightly um, different features that people will be working with, right? Uh, this could be counterintuitive when people like you know you raise a support request which goes to a, a system admin who is on a targeted release he actually gets to see a different thing so so for that reason only i suggest you to stick with standard release across the board and um, so but how do you actually ta test out and prepare for the new releases uh, that's coming out uh, in office 65 every week every month actually so that's a good question so my suggestion would be to have a different tenant uh, the same subscription level as uh, your uh, production tenant is and just uh, have a development or a, as a test tenant with few people on that. So it will be a, a paid tenant of course and uh, you can just have that as a targeted release for everyone on that particular dev tenant and uh, that will be your you know uh, you know your test bed so to say so you can test out new th new features and you can even develop um, different applications on, on on that particular tenant and then just roll it roll them out into the uh, to in, into your production tenant so there you go that's my uh, suggestion for this uh, for this video is stick with the standard release